It's a tough new world for banana farmers in far north Queensland since the detection of Panama disease last year. Only one farm is infected, but to safeguard the industry, researchers are looking for a resistant variety to replace the popular Cavendish. But it could mean the days of the cheap banana are numbered. Nancy Knotson reports from Tully. It's not easy to visit a banana farm in Tully anymore. This property doesn't have Panama disease, but life has changed for growers. We had to duplicate a lot of things, um, but the main areas that we, we dealt with, we fenced all of our farms to start with. Even today's rain means we can't go in to see the crop. Having to deal with those biosecurity measures has taken some time for people to come to terms with. Um, even on, on little simple things, you know, going to visit the neighbour and just catch up and have a chat. From our business, we've spent in excess of 700000 just on biosecurity issues in the last 12 months. It's money ill-afforded as a banana glut forces prices down. But without the measures, the price could be higher. It's not eradicable. It will affect people's cost of production on those farms and it may in time mean that those individual properties become commercially unviable. Biosecurity Queensland is at the forefront of slowing the disease's advance. The measures that we've got in place here and the close partnership between government and industry will leave us in good stead to slow the disease uh, and, and allow time for industry to adjust. Scientists say it's only a matter of time before Panama disease spreads. Whether that's in five or 20 years' time, no one really knows. To help keep bananas on the table, they're racing to find a variety that's not only disease-proof, but also commercially viable. Out of the large number available, the thousands, we have selected a, a small number, let's say about 50, and from those we are trialling about 30 at the moment. Dr Drenth is part of a global effort getting closer to finding that perfect banana. But he warns the impacts of the disease could stretch beyond the farm. That in the presence of TR4, the cost of production will go up, so that means the cost for the consumer will also go up. In the meantime, Patrick Lay is trying to protect himself by planting tolerant varieties. Our biggest issue is the, the tolerant varieties are only tolerant, they're not immune. There's no such thing as an immune variety. And all eyes are on Australia to find a solution. Nancy Knotson, ABC News, Tully.